door the wheels have gone already. Oh, dear. Lego is incredible. You can build anything with it. But does it make a good soapbox? Let's find out. These are the very best and worst Lego soapboxes. So will this one be a brick too far? It's a Lego themed soapbox as if you need me to tell you. And what you will see here, there's another very precariously positioned co-pilot at the back. We wish Nirav all the very best. Whether he's celebrating like that in a few seconds time, we will wait and see. This brings back memories of the Dam Busters all those years ago when there was a fella in the gun turret at the back. Oh, get off! Wow, rolled it. I could see that coming. The water is proving so difficult today because you go in straight, you hit the middle, and you come out and your soapbox can be anywhere, straight to sideways in the blink of an eye, and there's nothing you can do. OK, not the best start for LEGO. Let's see if Team Turbo LEGO had any more luck in Montreal, Canada. This is Turbo LEGO on the way down. And apparently it's a, a soapbox that turns into a couch. Let's hope it stays with being a soapbox today. Around the berm, and you've got to work out whether you go high or low through that particular section. Here's the jump coming up. They can see the finish line. There it is. The back comes off and the sides do, and the front's gone as well. It's becoming a couch in front of our eyes. Over the finish line they go, and making it despite losing parts of it. So now we have Ant Attack, the Ant Attack. Alessandro, Daniele, Fabiana and Silvia, a Lego-inspired soapbox. It looks a little bit precarious, though, for the driver, doesn't it? Uh, very tentative towards the kicker. Oh, bits of... Oh, it's gone! Front wheels have gone. That's it. Look at the size of the wheels underneath it. There's no way that was getting very far. Oh, they're devastated. Next, we're in Santiago, Chile, for a Lego soapbox that quite literally fell to pieces. It's got a handlebar steering, which can often pose a problem. And it's nice and quick there through the, uh, the, the turny, twisty bit at the top. Here's the carpool. And the cardboard was OK through there, although it's just started to move like the bodywork. Uh, keep an eye on that. On we go. Team total on the way down, through there, moving towards the bone shaker. Here is the bone shaker, the three tier. Oh, he's starting to lose it now. Starting to lose bits and bobs. Oh, it's all gone. It was a wolf in sheep's clothing. There he is. He's lost the body altogether. Down towards the finish. And there he is, celebrating a time of 56.53. We've got to find out exactly what happened there. It's OK. Oh, he caught the bail. Look. Everything is awesome. Go next. He's taken three months building this, so let's hope it's worth it. Here in Cincinnati today. Um, off they go, or off he goes, riding solo here down the course. So that first twisty section at the top. All nice and calm at the moment. Everything's still there. Through the chicane. Oh, bang, there goes the first bit. Nice and smooth. Looks pretty happy, the driver, doesn't he? Big smile on his face. There's the ramp. Yep, OK there. Oh, hang on a second. No, no. I, oh, he's got a piece of the soapbox underneath. And it stopped it, look. He can't get it moving. Watch this, the front falls off. And then when he thinks he'll be OK, it gets wedged underneath the bottom and he can't go any further. They're not happy either. What's your favourite Lego soapbox? Make sure to let us know in the comments. And while you're there, be sure to like the video too. Moving on, and our next soapbox also happens to be one of the finest passenger ejections of all time. The Lego master builders. Jeffrey the pilot, Ilona the co-pilot, Casper and Rude are the pushers, the Lego fans, the uni pals. 50 for the performance. That's the perfect start, but they've lost the Lego already. Here's the car wash. Now we go through the tunnel. What about the speed? 42 kilometres an hour. There's the water, it's falling apart around them. Holds onto it, gets it round there. Here's the stair set. Oh, it's spectacular through the... Oh, she's gone off the back. Gone off the back. It's no good pointing. Get down towards the finish. Watch this. 
It's Ilona that's gone off the back. She can't hold on, look. She knows it's over at that point. They were going so fast and so well. They get down to the finish, but it's a case of what could have been. Oh, she nearly went again. <laughs> what a spectacular run, both at the top and at the end. Brilliant. Over to London now for an amazing Lego Batman soapbox. And they've done a magnificent job on this one, haven't they? Nice and colourful. Looks like a Lego soapbox. Whether it's going to be as sleek and as quick as the Batmobile on the way down remains to be seen. Batman behind the wheel gets a push-off from Robin, the Joker and Penguin. And not the best of starts, certainly not the best. Oh, the wheels have gone already. Oh, dear. They didn't really make it past the piston, did they? And the wheels, the front wheels just completely went all that hard work. And you can see the disappointment on Batman's face. Two years later, and team, you Gotham be kidding me, were back and looking for redemption. And that is exactly what they got. A good time here might well make this one the team to beat here in London today. But they've got to be quick down the course. They're through the Lido, but they're going to have to get quicker than this. That's impressive too with the green smoke. Over the lolly drop, more green smoke. Moving towards the speed trap, let's see how fast they are. I'd say early 20s based on what we've seen so far today. There we go, 23. Now they go over the Grand Slammer. Very spectacular this one, despite one or two little pieces coming off. Moving towards the Sizzler, over the Sizzler. It's been solid, it's been unspectacular, but it's a very creative soapbox with a good performance and a time of 44.69, which is a very good all-round team display by you Gotham be kidding me again.